Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The world can be a very scary place. Villains can be larger than life. And almost impossible to defeat. The stress of saving the world can turn even the best of friends against each other. And not everyone will be on your side. Some will try to take advantage of your kindness. But a true hero will know exactly what to do. And will inspire others to do the same. But the scariest thing of all, even for the bravest hero, is discovering the villain is much closer than you think. is this? Um, where's my stuff? The gauntlet. I hope Petra's okay wearing it. I gotta get back. Find the admin. Find my friends. The guest will kindly follow the orange line in the floor to the check-in zone. The guest will kindly follow the orange line in the floor to the check-in zone. Hey! Disembodied voice? Where am I? The guest will kindly uh, follow the orange line to the, the check in zone. The check -in zone. Yeah, I heard you. The guest will kindly follow the orange line in the floor to the check-in zone, or else they get the lava. Jeez, got it. Point made. Oh, look! An orange line! said, a place where I'd never see the light of day again. What is this place? So, Jesse, how was your day? Oh, it was great. Met a red, glowy, all-powerful, crazy person who trapped me in a near-indestructible cage. <sighs> Sure, this is leading me to a place full of sunshine and cheer. Big Hank, he's just here to make sure all guests behave themselves. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yes, Jesse. Welcome to the Sunshine Institute. It's a reformatory for people the admin has found difficult. 
I'll be your warden. So, the admin created this nut hut too, huh? Of course. The admin is an endless source of building brilliance. Including this beautiful behavioral adjustment retreat center. I'm sure we'll get along just famously. So, it's a prison? Hey, no, no, we don't use the P word here. But it is a prison. Let's not challenge authority. The admin doesn't let us use that word, so we don't use that word. Understand? You know he's not here right now, right? You never know. What about my friends? I need to get back. The admin put his gauntlet on one of them. Who knows what he's making them do? He gave them the gauntlet? Oh, man, lucky them. That means they're the admin's favorite. <laughs> How great would that be? I bet your friend is living it up. Enjoying the high life right by the admin's side. It really doesn't last long. The admin's a finicky little tyrant. That's exactly the kind of attitude that got you sent here. And if your friends are anything like you, They'll be making their journey to Betterment right next to you, I'm sure. Now hang on a tick. I have a... another guest on my manifest. Male. Grizzled beard. Hair is described as... majestic. Long, long list of aliases hey, distract here. Distract him! Yeah, that's Jack. Jesse, thank goodness I found you. This I place know. is. Let's get out of here. Wait, you can't. It's too dangerous. Stop them, associates! I can't believe what a mess we're in. And all because I didn't realize Foss was actually the admin. Oh, what a mess. Manipulated, shammed. Hey. The admin fooled everyone, not just you. But I should have known. I should have been better. And now the admin has Petra too. I... I don't know how we're gonna get out of this one. Hey, sound the alarm! We don't stand a chance without weapons. Can we run? Where? Wherever they aren't. Yeah. 
Oh! I really wish I had that gauntlet right about now. Yeah, maybe not this way. Whoa! What are those things? Spider? A creeper? It's the stuff nightmares are made of! That is unsettling. Of course! Why would there only be one? There's never just one. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Did an escape attempt. <sighs> that is just. That is just rude. Take this one to the mushroom. And bring that one to my office. Now. Close the door, would you? Do as you're told. Go on. Close it yourself. Fine. Be defiant. Oh, large Henry. <laughs> Defiant. <sighs> Disappointing. Looks like I'll have to keep an extra eye on you and your crew. My crew? Oh! Let me show you. <gasps> Radar! Nerm! You see, here at the Sunshine Institute, there are two types of guests. People who make the admin extra angry, such as yourself, and your punch-happy friend down there. And there are people who the admin sends to make sure the first group will be, uh, <laughs> well-behaved. Your friend, with the glasses, is surprisingly feisty for such a skinny guy. You think you want to mess with me and my friends? You think wrong. You mess with me? And you mess with my friend, the admin. And that's something you definitely don't want. Bring up Jesse's leverage, would you? Skinny guy, glasses? Funny story. When I first got here, I was actually part of the second group. We were just a crazy couple of griefers. Simpler times. No, 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 this place is filthy! Oh, so disorganized! Ah, making me crazy! Jesse! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay! I was so... I was so worried! Glad I'm okay? I'm just relieved that you're okay. Oh, 
Yeah, you were worried about me? Meet the Iron Breathtaker. Iron bars to hold the victim in place below. Sticky piston above to shove an iron block down over their head. <gasps> Go! <laughs> now, I said before that you could follow in my footsteps. That could start now. Ready to improve that pesky bad behavior of yours and join the good guys? Work for me as an associate and help bring order to these poor, chaotic individuals. Don't do it, Jesse! <laughs> What's it gonna be? No freaking way, Warden. Go eat a slime ball. Oh, some people. Don't say I never tried to help. Oh, whoa. Long time in there. Feeling a little dizzy. Okay. Oh my gosh, Radar. Are you okay? Your eye. Jesse, is that you? Don't worry. I've got you, buddy. <laughs> Knew you wouldn't give in. <laughs> They're not getting away with this, buddy. They'll pay. And it's gonna be a hefty price. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Well, well, well. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Stella. What a. How? Well, I appreciate you letting me out of that ice. I can't let that disrupt the new professional relationship we have now, okay? I'm sure you understand. I knew a day of reckoning would come for my rival. Ah, you two know each other? <laughs> oh, yes. Our bitter rivalry goes way back. This place really suits you, Stella. It's cruel, uncomfortable, and nobody likes it. Oh, you're letting your jealousy get the better of you, Jesse. Pity. Watch out for this one, Warden. Jesse plus anything equals trouble. Now come on, Jesse. No one wants a sour rival. Be like me. I'm a shining example of success. I would barely arrived and I'm already bossing you around. <laughs> Isn't it grand? Let's go, Randall. It's Radar! Uh, that's what I said. <sighs> Stella's right. Commitment and loyalty to the admin's cause are cornerstones around here. The more friends stick together, the harder they make it for each other. So maybe readjust your concerns. There are bigger silver fish to fry than... than... friends. What kind of message is that? You're worse than the admin. What? You don't really think that, do you? What are you hiding, Warden? Not every prisoner here wears orange, Jesse. Let's go, rival! That's right! Go along, Jesse, to the mushroom! Exactly what I was going to suggest. I'll have your job before you know it, Warden. Be careful what you wish for, Stella. Show him around, would ya? Thanks. Excuse me? <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? We don't have a problem, do we? I need a moment to process. Maybe several moments. Don't listen to her. She's not as important as she thinks she is. Oh, you are certainly one to talk, Jesse. Ta-ta, Jesse! I'll be at my post supervising a more impressive cell block. Don't be too jealous. Or do. I wouldn't blame you. You okay, Radar? Wish I was. 
I need something to eat. Get my strength back. <laughs> You're in the right place. Guests make mushroom stew here. Guess I just need some mushrooms then. Here's one. Mushroom! I'm gonna starve. Waste away. Poof. No more radar. I'll find some food for you. Just rest. Resting. Thanks, Jesse. Definitely not getting back out that way. Hey, are you okay, buddy? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be fine. Just a little hungry, that's all. But you're... Weird looking? Huh. Maybe you just need to get out more. This is what people look like where I come from. Noted. Sorry. Got any idea how to bust out of here? Hey, you're one of us. I can tell you. Really? No! How'd you get that bull of stew there? I don't know what you heard, but you won't get any free food from me, fresh meat! Get out of here! What got you tossed in here? None of your business. Was it embarrassing? None of your business. What if I go first? There was this gauntlet. Stop it. All right then. This was enlightening, sort of. Not really. <laughs> As Jesse walked up to Brick, Jesse noticed that he was narrating all of Jesse's actions. How do you know my name? Jesse was surprised to learn that the reputation of the Wither Slayer, the leader of the Order of the Stone, had spread so far. Brick was curious what Jesse thought of someone who narrated every action around himself. Brick waited for Jesse to say something. What would it be, he wondered. Jesse approved of Brick and his quirks. Jesse winked with approval, like this. Brick was happy for the approval, but didn't appreciate Jesse stealing his thing. I mean, come on, it was his thing first. So, what are you in here for? Brick remembered the day the admin, annoyed with Brick's constant need to narrate, sent him to the Sunshine Institute to break Brick of the habit. Brick was promised release if he stopped, but nothing will ever break Brick's spirit. He will narrate forever. That's it for now. Thanks, Brick. You're welcome. Uh, Brick told Jesse, you're welcome. Brick wondered if Jesse had any other questions. I need to get some food. Any tips? Brick looked out on the mycelium field, knowing that at any time, mushrooms would pop into existence, and that all fellow prisoners would have to fight to get one. 
Brick hoped Jesse was a worse fighter than he was. But from the looks of it, Brick is in mondo trouble. Ever try to get out of here? Brick knew that the only way out was through the burrows. A seemingly endless labyrinth filled with monsters and who the heck knows what else. Brick also knew that only one person has ever tried to escape. But Brick never speaks her name. But... Brick will never speak of Prisoner X. So Jesse never asked again. <sighs> That's it for now. Thanks, Brick. You're welcome. Er, uh, Brick told Jesse, you're welcome. I hope you're learning how to be a cooperative champion. Wait, what? Is that the admin? You are all here to be reminded of your potential. It's a recording? Come on. And I hope you'll see it in yourself, as I do. Because if you don't, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, eh? In the meantime, demonstrate your cooperative potential, and you just may become the ultimate champion! can see everything from up there. Find that out there. Stop staring at me! Yikes! Guess I was right. Hey, Jesse. Man, I'm glad you're okay. When I saw the admin, teleporter tick, you know, it was, uh, well, it was, uh, I mean, I, I know I saw you at the entrance, but, uh, it's good to see you too, Jack. That was scary. Yeah, I just couldn't bear the thought of losing another person. After what happened with uh, not Voss, you know, and, and then Petra, and, uh... We're going to stop the admin, Jack. I'm going to get us out of here. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you will. Oh, and, uh, you might want to get Slim over there something to eat. He's looking a little peaky. Yeah, I'm working on it. Thanks for looking out. Hang tight for now. I'll be back. Hey. You just caught me putting the happy little finishing touches on my happy little painting here. What, uh, what you painting? I'd so love to paint a happy little mushroom, but none ever stick around long enough for me to paint. Do you think you could be so kind as to build me a happy little mushroom to paint? Here's some wonderful dirt for you to use.
Now that is just, that is just lovely. Thank you ever, ever so much. Please, you must share your thoughts on my work so far. Don't you hold back now. Honesty's the best policy. Oh my gosh, it's great. The, uh, chiaroscuro is just impeccable, <laughs> truly. So happy you like it. And now, I like you. You'll be spared when the bad thoughts come. Look, I have something important to ask. Go ahead. Any idea how to get some food around here? Your best bet's the mushroom pit. That's where all the guests get their food. Hey, are you busting out of here? <laughs> Everyone gives up on account of the mining fatigue, but they just don't got the patience. It just takes longer, see? Just a little bit at a time. Mm-hmm. Hey, how's it going? Noticed you got a cookie there. Cookie? Uh, what, what cookie? That was just a wood slab. Crazy McCrazy thinking they saw cookies over here. Go grab a mushroom. Need a brown one now. Nice, I got him. Thanks for picking those for me, noob. Whoa. Nothing personal. I'm just mega, mega hungry. <laughs> Give me that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just so hungry. Uh. <clears throat> Hello. What's going on in here? You should have known it was you causing more trouble, Jesse. Tisk. I say tisk. And just who does this contraband belong to, hmm? You all know that weapons are strictly forbidden at the Sunshine Institute. So who does this belong to? You might as well just come out and tell me. It'll be so much easier for everyone. Large Henry won't have to pummel anyone. No one will need to be pummeled. Okay, okay, I confess. It's mine. I snuck it in. You liar! I crafted that with my own two hands! Stole all the wood, my devil-sugar. <laughs> I mean, oops! Real smart, dude. You know that misbehavior means getting sent down a level. And that means... No! Not the zombie mines! Not the zombie mines! Yes. Perhaps a little time harvesting rotten flesh will teach you something. Take him away. No more fighting. No more rule breaking. Any of you. Jeez, what a jerk. <sighs> At least now I can make some stew for radar.
Well, it's not much, but hopefully it'll help Radar get his strength back. Poor guy still looks pretty shaken up. Voila! One fresh bowl of mushroom stew. Thank you, Jesse. You have no idea how happy... I mean, psh, I guess I'll drink this slop. Interesting attitude there, buddy. I'm gonna have to really step it up. I mean, this is prison. So from now on... I'm prison radar. I'm gonna get my own mushrooms. Make my own stew. Disregard my bedtime. Break whatever rules I feel like. Hey, that's the spirit radar. You look awesome. Really? Thanks. I mean... <clears throat> Tell me something I don't know! Now step aside, Jesse. It's time for Prison Radar to show this world what he's made of. That's right! Come at me, dude! What's going on? Prisoner X has escaped! I repeat, Prisoner X has escaped! All guests, please report to the nearest lounge. <laughs> Think that's their cute way of saying sell. Yep, and you definitely want to stay away from this. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Prisoner X? Other inmates were talking about her. Something of an infamous escape artist. Rumor has it she even knows the way through that maze. Most people have never even seen her, they keep her locked up so deep. But everyone's heard of her. And man, do they talk about her. That sounds like the sort of person we should get on our side. Agreed. Someone with that kind of knowledge could be very useful. But where is she exactly? She's apparently locked up on the deepest, darkest level of this place. Cell Block X. Detecting a theme with the names. Yeah, they found their groove and they're sticking with it. We need to get to Cell Block X. Those zombie mines are where troublemakers are sent, right? Seems to me you're already pretty high up on the Warden's naughty list. Cause some chaos? Might be exactly what we need. The Warden does hate my guts. Could use that to my advantage. Manipulate the man to work for us! Prison Radar votes heck yeah! Okay, it's a plan. You stay here and rest up. I'm gonna find a way to get us to Cell Block X. Sounds good. While you do that, I'm gonna study this place. Before we're through, I'll know it like the back of my hand. But how to get sent down to the lower levels? Hmm... Talk about suspicious looking. There's got to be something in there I can use to get into trouble. See what I can do with this. I think there's another room back there. But how do I get in? Secret buttons. Nice. Now we're on to something. Okay. 
time to see what tall, red, and gruesome is hiding. Looks like the buttons move the blocks. So that button moves that block. This moves those blocks. Got it. Someone had been around to see me being this impressive. Hmm. Uh, a mushroom? Uh, what the heck are you doing here? Sounded me like I could ask you the same question. Yeah. Uh, Mind explaining what you're doing in my most private of spaces? Visitors ain't welcome, and you are most uh, definitely a visitor. Hence, not welcomed. How about you explain what you're doing? I'm questioning someone who's about to lose a lot of teeth if they don't mind their tune. If you hadn't noticed, you left the hole open. Now get out of my cell before you regret getting in it. Who's this weirdo? Hmm. Huh? Holy cow! A mushroom! We can feed the entire room! Hey, hands off! Sharing is caring. <laughs> what is going on in here? Of course, it's you. Anthony, shears. This is your last chance to right some wrongs. You shear this mushroom, and I promise no pain will come to them. And if I don't? Then I can't promise to keep that promise. What? No! You don't do it, Jesse! Go to the nether and... Jump in a lava lake, Warden. Yeah! Take it away! No! Not my Jeffy! <laughs> you don't know to stop causing trouble, do you? Well, trouble has consequences, Jesse. Dig it up. What the heck are you doing? Teaching you a lesson, Jesse. No more mycelium. I'll starve. You and your friends will be relocated to the lower levels. The zombie mines. Well, isn't this a treat? My rambunctious rival is now my poor prisoner. Get moving. Well, we needed to go to the lower levels anyway. Let's hope they're survivable. Welcome to the zombie mines, Jesse. <laughs> Just when you think you've seen it all. What exactly is this place? Every few minutes, a million gross zombies spawn. The equally gross prisoners dispatch them and collect the zombie flesh, which is... Gross. I get it. But why? Don't know. Don't care. Do your job. Zombies won't fight themselves, so get to fighting. That is sadistic. No two ways around it. Yeah, but it's how the place works. Survival of the fittest and all that. Though survival of the grossest is more accurate here. You brought this on yourself, Jesse. I don't get it. You could have just joined the admin and never had to suffer a second. Instead, you chose to throw it all in the lava pit. 
I think all of those people cheering for you 24-7 have made you delusional. Made you think that you can just uh, change the world. <laughs> it's sad is what it is. Hey, I'm doing the right thing here. I'm the hero. I'm afraid that hero doesn't mean much in the civilized world if you don't have the power to back it up, Jesse. I'll give you one piece of advice. Just one. Try not to cause any more trouble. If you do, you'll get sent to Maximum. With her. Who's in there? You must have heard those alarms earlier. That was Prisoner X. She tried to escape, but they got her back. And she... she scares me. You don't want to end up in there. So, play nice. Come along, Luna. What on earth was that about? Sounds like that vent is our way to Prisoner X. You know, the name of the place has sun and shine in it, and this place doesn't have either. Zombie and despair might be more accurate words. Hey guys. Hey. Found anything? <sighs> Nothing of use. Especially since I refuse to look away from those zombie spawners. Don't want any surprises when they go off. Hey. Keep your eyes open. Hey, what is this? Oh, the big guy, Oxblood, was down for a while and headbutted the wall? Not sure why, but man, he has a hard head. We just haven't fixed it yet. There's redstone behind the wall. Hmm, huh. I wonder what it connects to. There's gotta be a way in, but this door won't budge. Hey, don't even bother trying to get in. See those item frames? Only the admin and the warden have the right items. And they could be anything. Besides, why would you want into Prisoner X's cell? That's just bonkers. Stay away. Yeah, what dummy would want that, huh? Yeah, Prisoner X hates everyone. Even other guests like yourself. Don't even think about going in. Hmm. So that redstone leads to this door. If I can bypass the redstone circuit, I can open the door. Hey, guys! Over here! What did you find? We need to find something to bypass a redstone circuit and get this door open. This will lead us to Prisoner X. She can help us get out of here for good. Hey, Jesse! Stop loafing around! Well, there is someone in here who came from the outside who may still have a hefty inventory. <sighs> Stella. Hey, Radar. You okay? Mushroom. It was intense, huh? No kidding. Standing up to the warden, though? That's my Jesse through and through. Thanks, buddy. But those poor prisoners. No food? Rough stuff. And Stella? Here? We can't catch a break. But first things first. Let's find this prisoner X and get out of here. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, hey! Uh, you want some? Fresh flesh! Wow, you really like that stuff, huh? Nah. Oh. I love it! High in protein, high in flavor, maybe just a little bit poisonous sometimes, but you only live once. You sure you don't want some? Honey to go around you. Just say the word. Yeah, no. I'm good. Your loss. <laughs> Minecarts bringing zombie flesh somewhere. What could the admin want with it? Jesse, guests and associates really shouldn't be mingling. Yeah, about that. I need your help. I need to make a lever. Pronto? Why exactly? Not that I, you know, really care. It's probably stupid. You never know when you need a lever. That's what I always say. A lever? In a prison reformatory? Huh. Really, Jesse? Not helping you here. No, not risking angering the admin. I had to really prove myself to get this gig as it is. Not giving it up for you. But he's why you're down here. Come on. And he is who will help lift me back out again once I finish helping him run this horrible, smelly mud pit. Maybe you make some good points, but not enough of them. I have a place here. Respect. You know, and power, and the, yeah, the works. It's actually very prestigious. Many, many people would love to have this position. Yeah, but what about Champion City? You're gonna abandon them? <laughs> Absolutely not. They'll be fine. They will be just, oh, yeah, who am I kidding? I have done so much for them in the past, I mean, they can barely make bread without me supervising. Okay, look, maybe this isn't my dream destination. This place is horrible, and I am worried I will never get the smell out of my hair. Here's the cobblestone and stick. But you need to get me out of here. I know we've had our issues, but I also know that you're a hero or whatever. That's not too much, right? Sure, Stella. We'd be happy to have you. If you're happy, I'm happy. No matter how many worlds I see, it always seems to come back to levers. Do this. Zombie wave incoming. Prepare yourself. You're just hoping this works.
do? Don't! Prisoner X will escape! Stay close to me, okay? Guys? Petra? Oh, of course. Of course it's Jesse. Why am I not surprised? Admin? It's not enough that you disregarded all the rules in my icy palace of doom? Tried to upset the delicate order of the Sunshine Institute? Now you're trying to disrupt the therapeutic benefits of my zombie mine? What gives? Pretty sure your fellow inmates were just trying to peacefully live out the rest of their captivities. Hang on, Admin. It's just a misunderstanding. Let's just talk this out. Misunderstandings? Oh, we are way past misunderstandings. Way past. Sir! I'm very disappointed in you, Warden. I, I'm just, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just a nervous eater. I'm sorry. Oh, no, not that. I'm disappointed that you couldn't keep Jesse in line for one measly day. I was just trying to do my job, and now I'm in trouble because of you. This job isn't easy to begin with. You run a prison, Warden. Of course I'm not going to make your life easy. Oh, for the love of... Enough! How truly you disappoint me! And that goes for you, and you, and you, and especially you. And as for you, I've been looking for an opportunity for you to prove your loyalty. To prove your worth as my champion. Unless you want to be added to my naughty list, I suggest you pull out your sword and attack Jesse. And as for you, Jesse, well, don't think I don't believe in fair play. <laughs> now we'll have some real fun. I had such high hopes for you, Jesse. The highest of hopes. You could have been my champion, and you gave it all away. Petra, what are you doing? I'm so sorry, Jesse. Are you afraid, Jesse? Get over it quick if you are. Serious ouch. Zip it, Jesse. We only got one shot at this. I'm gonna go to the admin, and then we'll both attack him. Just trust me on this one. You're, you're joking, right? That's your big idea. Swords can't hurt me. Oh, all I asked you to do is fight your friend to the death, and you can't even do that. I don't even want you to be my friend anymore. And I don't want you to be my friend either. 
In fact, as far as I'm concerned, this whole place can burn to the ground! What about Prisoner X? What about all of us? The Institute remains inescapable. So what do I care? I'm leaving. And I'm never thinking about any of you ever again! So I'll just be my own friend now. Can't dwell on the setbacks. Gotta keep looking forward. That's... That's so sad. Oh, spare me the petty party. I don't need it. <sighs> I'm gonna have loads of friends soon. After all. Everyone loves Jesse. Right? No. Oh. No way. You coming? Trust me, I take care of Luna for me. Coming, darling admin! Stella, it's just the beginning. Your other friends will follow mine too. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, all of them. Don't worry, I'll take good care of Beacon Town. Jesse, we gotta stop him! Uh, Petra! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. What? No. You have nothing to apologize for. Let's hope Prisoner X is really our ticket out of here. I'm so glad you're all right, Petra. Hmm. Yeah, that was... That was pretty bad. After he took me away, I, I was in this weird place. Time and everything was so strange. I felt like I'd been there forever, and I started to worry you'd given up on me. Hmm. That sounds... That sounds horrible. Petra, are you crazy? We would never give up on you. Yeah, what Jesse said. Hey! Well, that's a nice thing for you to say. I saw Beacon Town, Jesse. They were all worried about you. No one knew where you were, or if you were alive. I'm sure the admin's heading there right now. Wearing Jesse's mug to boot. It's freaking messed up, yo! It's true. Identity theft is no joke. I don't care about who's wearing my face. I just want to make sure Beacon Town is safe. We made it! Whoa. about some intense security. Just stick close to Jesse, all right? Mm. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Yeah, you guys go on. Get Prisoner X. Huh. If I wanted to imprison the dreaded Prisoner X, that's where I'd do it. I think that's where we need to go. Now all we have to do is cross this conduit, reach the platform, jump down, and not die. Mm. Come on, I think we can make that jump. Ugh. You're up next, Nerm. Mm. Oh. Okay, now you learn. Mm. Seriously. How do you do that? 
Prisoner X. <sighs> Bold of you to come here, not knowing who you're dealing with. I could shove you right into that lava, and you deserve it for being so trusting, so gullible. Just one little push. <laughs> and sizzle, sizzle, sizzle! Yeah, sorry to break it to you, but you're not scaring me. We're all locked up here. You're just another guest. Oh, I am so much more than that. So much more! Look, Prisoner X... Zara! You're supposed to know how to get out of here, right? What? Where did you get that idea? <sighs> no one's ever escaped the Sunshine Institute. I don't have time for lies, Zara. I need to get out of here. Oh, are we supposed to be friends now? <sighs> I don't owe you the truth. Or anything, for that matter. The admin stole my identity, and he's running around with my face doing horrible things in my name. I gotta get out of here, now. Romeo was here? Just now? Uh, the admin was, but who's... Romeo. That's his real name. You didn't think admin was his given name, did you? He would want you to think that. Of course he would. How do you know his real name? Oh, we're very old friends. I know his real name, and much, much more. You must really be something if you made him so mad. He almost never comes down here in person. Except to put the Warden's feet to the fire from time to time. Well, there is no more Warden. The admin fired him. That's fantastic. We won't have any trouble escaping with that little creep out of the picture. So now you want to help me? Any enemy of Romeo is a friend of mine, I always say. Well, I've never technically said that. But I think it sounds pretty good. How can I trust you know the way out? Oh, don't worry, I know the way. I'm the only one who does. If you know the way, then show me. Let's get out of here. Just one problem. This whole room is rigged to explode if I step one foot out of it. Explode? Take a look around. If someone doesn't stand on at least one of these pressure plates on the floor, these sticky pistons will retract. Lava meets TNT, and then the whole place blows up before you can say kaboom! <laughs> That's a stone pressure plate. That means I can't just use a block. Oh, it's fine. One of your silly companions can stay behind. The rest of us can go. That's the situation. That's the only way out. Hey, you tricked us! You did this on purpose! Well, perhaps I did. But I couldn't be sure you'd agree to do this, could I now? Oh, I hate to be a wet slime about all of this, but we have to get moving! I can't just leave them here. Then just leave one of them here. As long as one pressure plate is stood upon, the trap won't spring. So either the villager or the llama must remain behind. Hey. Hey. Oh. No, no, you can't do that. Oh. oh, come on, we seriously don't have time for this. I'm leaving. If you're interested in escaping the Sunshine Institute alive, I suggest you do the same.
We have to go. And you need to come with me. Jack wouldn't know what to do without you. <laughs> Luna, stay right there, okay? <laughs> You're a good llama. You're a hero, Luna. How did you... My straitjacket? Oh, that was the easy part. If you're done with your tearful goodbyes, we have a prison to escape from. Prisoner X, I presume? Yeah. Guys, this is Zara. Zara, the guys. Hello. What's the matter, friend? <laughs> Nurm here says you wouldn't let him stay, and left Luna in his place instead. <laughs> Nurm, you can't blame yourself, pal. We'll come back for her, Nern. Somehow. Hey. He says he'll take your word for it. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made him come with you. Thank you, Jesse. Ugh, can we get going, or is the reunion still underway? Yeah, we're going, we're going. Come on. The guests have escaped their lounges! The warden's been fired! <laughs> Zombie meat is back on the menu! When I find that warden, I'm gonna make him pay for what he put me through! Yipes! Wouldn't want to be the warden right now. Every prisoner in this place wants to tear him to pieces. He better watch his back. And his front, and his side. Yeah, lots of watching in his future. It's what he deserves. I won't be losing any sleep over it. <sighs> I wonder what the Warden will lose when the prisoners find him. <laughs> Let's see if they left us any weapons. Weapons! Sweet, sweet weapons! I could take the enchanted iron sword, or the diamond sword with no enchantment. The diamond sword will last longer, but the iron sword is enchanted with sharpness. Not bad. Hmm. Okay, definitely feeling better with a sword in my hand again. Agreed. Versatile. <sighs> Actually, not a bad look. Looking good, gang. Now let's. E O F F. That spells my best friend. <laughs> Love you, Jeffy. Friends reunited. It's a prison miracle. No. <laughs> I guess Jesse does seem like good people. Oh, jeez. You're holding us up. Move along. Now. Prisoner X. Oh, jeez. I don't want no trouble. I'm out of here. Come along, Jeffy. That was frighteningly effective. Well, now that that's over with, can we get moving now, please? should be just around this corner. We have a situation here. Back! Back! All of you! 
One more step and it's to Bonesville! Jesse! Warden? What's going on here? Hey! You're one of us! Help us beat up the Warden! It'll be a good team building exercise! Plus, we beat up the Warden! Win-win! Well, dip my bristles. Look who it is. It's my happy little friend who took a look at my happy little painting. Jesse, you freed Prisoner X? Just when I thought you couldn't ruin my life anymore! What in the world were you thinking? Holy crud! It's Prisoner X! I think you've clearly lost your mind. She is bad news. Actually, no, she is way worse than bad news. She doesn't deserve to be locked up. None of us do. Did you know she was once an admin too? The admin had to take her powers away. She tried to destroy him. I promised the admin I'd never let her free, no matter what. And I'll keep that promise. Even if I need to blow us all up to do it. <sighs> Later, Tate. Huh? 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 Why are you all staring at me? It's making me uncomfortable. So is it true? What he said about you? You were an admin. Well, ugh, it's complicated. We want answers, Zara. Uh, fine! Yes, I was an admin. Ages ago, Romeo took my admin powers away from me just before he banished me to this pitiful prison. But I'm not the villain here. Romeo and his little warden were the ones who put you down here, not me! So glare in another direction! I'm innocent! I'm sick of secrets. You should have said something. I assumed you wouldn't take the news well, and how right I was. No more secrets. Fine. No more secrets. There's no way we can trust her now. Wait, so an admin can be stripped of their powers? Ugh, it's not simple, but yes. So what do we- We don't have time for this. It won't be long before Romeo finds out what's happened down here. Yeah, I guess we should keep moving. Follow me. seen what the admin can do. We need all the help we can get. But her? Really? Do you have any other ex-admins in your inventory? No. Petra's right. We need Zara's help. It's the only way. I just hope you're not making a serious mistake getting involved with another admin. Romeo did always love creating new nightmares at every opportunity. Yeah. Seriously, what's with these monsters? They're all glowing! They're pretty scary looking, Jesse. Then let's be scarier. Less talking, more stab!
I guess. Jeez. Oh, Nerm! Just let me think! Think or make something up. Ah! It's fine. Even if there's a setback, we can still get out of this. Not exactly a vote of confidence, but I'll take it. Wait! We can just build to the top of the wall and get to the other side that way! Yeah! Sounds good to me.
got it! The three-headed ghast? Why would the admin create that?
<laughs> that was unbelievable! And you stuck the landing. Nice. Oh, that. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, there it is, guys. Our ticket out of here. That is sparkly. The sparkliest. Is that... Diamond? <laughs> Where is everyone? That lunatic is gonna be inventory if she's not careful. So? We should lend her a hand, shouldn't we? But she sounds like she's in trouble. We're not abandoning her. I told her I'd help her escape. Time to prove it. We can't just leave her. Come on! Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. You came back. I said I'd get you out, didn't I? Now, show us the way. I know you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Let's go. I'm not a very trusting person. Romeo betrayed me. I have trouble getting along with others. I'm not much of a people person anymore. If I ever really was, it's gone now. I'll try. But it's not easy, Jesse. I've been through a lot. There's something else you should know. There was a third admin named Fred. Where is he? Dead. He and I fought Romeo for control of the world. We lost. Where's the rest of it? Yeah, how are we supposed to escape? This doesn't even go up that far. That's because we're not going up, we're going down. Down? There is no down. We're standing on bedrock. You can't go any lower. You might think so, but that's where we need to go. Below the bedrock. Everybody knows there's nothing under the bedrock except nothing! And also certain death. I really do want to believe you. Then believe me. I'd rather take my chances in the maze than listen to any more of her lies. Any of you are welcome to join me. That's crazy talk. All those monsters- I don't care! She's an admin. An admin killed Voss, then stole his identity, and then- Remember I told you he took my admin powers away? Well, down there lies the secret to taking Romeo's powers from him forever. Fred, the third admin, discovered it. Jesse, help me dig through this tower. <laughs> See? I told you! These stairs lead to our salvation! Now there's a good reason to get a move on. I can't let anyone run around disguised as me, or my friends. The amount of chaos they could cause is... well, it's unthinkable. 
That's why I summoned you. Track them down. Make sure they're behaving themselves. <coughs> Man. Oh, jeez. <coughs> 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 Run, 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 Jesse. As fast as you can. <laughs>